attention turns towards a pretty impactful system here. Wednesday night into Thursday and Friday. Those are the days that we're really watching for that uh, big system impacting the central and eastern parts of the country. Winds are going to be picking up. We are looking at the potential for some blizzard conditions here Thursday and into Friday. Winter storm watch, in fact, already out for central Iowa and parts of eastern Iowa. Wouldn't be surprised if we see that expanded here uh, into either today or tomorrow to include more of eastern Iowa. So again, if you can try to get the, those last minute holiday errands done uh, tomorrow or Wednesday because uh, the longer we head into the week, the more impacts we're going to start seeing. What we know right now, large system is going to be impacting the U.S. that will impact holiday travel. And uh, the exact track is still a little up in the air, but we're continuing to nail that down. Snowfall totals come with that as well. Uh, strength of the wind, though, uh, continuing to see increasing confidence on that as well. So again, get things done early this week. As we head through the end of the week, we'll start to see much more uh, in terms of those weather impacts. Here's all that together on the nine day for us. Temperatures today, upper 20s, falling into the teens tomorrow. The winter solstice comes on Wednesday. That's the first day of winter. And uh, beyond that, it's going to feel like winter. Blizzard-like conditions Thursday and Friday. Wind chills below zero as we head into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It's going to be chilly for Christmas weekend. That's another thing to keep in mind. Not only are we watching those snowfall totals, Jackie, uh, but we're also watching the potential for anyone who's maybe stranded out on the roads to be dealing with those very cold conditions. So uh, all the more reason to try to get your travel done early this week and try to limit that as we head through the end of the week. And never